Hey everybody, this is Rusty again from Collector Auctions. I've got another comic book haul and unboxing video for you today. But before we get started, please hit the subscribe button to join the channel. And if you like today's video, make sure you hit the thumbs up. It really helps support the channel. As always, also please leave a comment. I love hearing about what you think about the books that I'm picking up. Now this week's books are books I picked up on a recent travel I made to West Virginia. I stopped over in Frederick, Maryland and stopped at a couple comic shops. I stopped at Walmart and I've had some a couple picks up from eBay and from whatnot this week. So let's get started. I'll start with what I picked up from Walmart. I had stopped to pick up maybe a couple more of those Marvel 3 packs but I didn't see anything that really inter interested me. But I did find a couple of the DC packs, and I got ended up with a couple copies of Superman, Son of K Son of KL, Cal L. Excuse me. Now these were the top book on the packs, and I know these are going up in value ever since the, some recent news about the Son of Superman came out. So I figured I'd go ahead and pick up pick these up and I ended up with a few other books that uh, were kind of interesting but these were the two main reasons that I picked both of these packs up was to get those two issues right there. Both of them are really nice. There's a spine tick on the one right here but it's something I think I'm going to be able to press out. Both are candidates right now for CGC. Alright, let's go with what I picked up from the two comic book shops. Now, the first comic book shop was Brainstorm Comics in Frederick. And both of these stores are in Frederick, Maryland. Uh, the first one was Brainstorm, Brain, Brainstorm Comics. I believe that's right. Brainstorm is a brainstorming. Hmm. But I picked up the second print to the House of Slaughter, number one. And then I picked up the second issue of Knighted. Seems like a nice and neat alternative story. Kind of similar to some of the things we've been seeing, but it's just another take on, on superheroes. And then I picked up two issues of NYX. This was the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles homage from issue one. And then I picked up regular cover from issue two. Now that store in Frederick had mostly just modern comic books, so uh, not a lot of older back issues. I know they have a second store in Maryland that has a lot more of their back issues, and I'll probably try to make a trip out there someday. Now from the other store, and it's one I've been to before, and if you've seen my videos, you'll know that I have gone to that store every time I make the trip out to Frederick, it's Beyond Comics. And I didn't find a lot of expensive books this time, but I did pick up a handful of things. Picked up the first print to Black Cavern's We Don't Kill Spiders. I had been looking for a good copy of that one. But I, my local, my LCS here close to home was, uh, they didn't have it. They did have the second print, but they didn't have the first print. And then I picked up a bunch of the Alex Ross Timeless covers. And forgive me if I don't know which issues of Fantastic Four and some of these are exactly, but again, it wasn't the particular issue. It was the covers I'm getting. The this is Human Torch, The Invisible Woman, there's Reed Richards, there's The Angel, get The Beast, actually let me move a couple of these here, run out of room real quick, Beast, Colossus. I've got the Falcon and the Black Panther. Now, as you can imagine, this I found these. I didn't go searching through the shop looking for all these in particular. They actually had one box in particular that I went through, and I probably spent 20 minutes going through the books trying to find the best grades. I'll probably try to send all of these out to CGC, mostly just for the PC. Uh, I'm not going to do them all at once because that would be a big, big expensive order, but I will probably send these out included with some other books along the way, but the intention is to get these all CGC graded at some point. So those were the two LCSs. Let's see, what do we got here? Let's go with the one thing I picked up from eBay this week was a copy of Fantastic Four 243. 
Now I got this at a pretty good price. Condition looks really good. Uh, this is a little bit of a spec book. It goes along with some of my other specs that, as you saw from my last video, I was expecting on 244. This is a lesser spec at 243, but pretty good value, pretty good condition. I think it'll be neat to get this one graded along with the 244 and have those as a pair. So that was the one thing I picked up from eBay this week. Now, whatnot, I've been buying more and more and whatnot. You can find some pretty good deals on there. Sometimes you can get caught up in the bidding, but sometimes you can get really, really good deals. And so I ended up picking up another copy from one seller of 243. Now this one actually I paid less, half of what I just paid for that one from eBay, but this one looks in even better condition than the other one. So that one's gonna be a super good value and I think the condition on this is gonna come out really, really good. And I also picked up a copy of Department of Truth. This is issue number two. I believe this is the first print too. So both I picked up at pretty good prices. Real happy with that. Now most of these books I've been picking up are going to be CGC candidates. And all of these will be going through my press. I'll clean them up, press them, and then we'll reevaluate them and see if they're going to be worth sending out to CGC. Just like everything else, every one of these books that I send out to CGC, every, every one of them goes through the same process. So we'll have to go through them and make sure that they're worth, uh, worth getting graded. If not, they may end up in my PC and maybe they'll end up, uh, I may end up selling them raw at some point, but all things will be determined after we go through the process. All right, from another seller, we ended up picking up the new stand edition of Ultimate Spider-Man number one. Now this is a book I never owned. I didn't start on Ultimate Spider-Man until much, much later in the run. And it is a run that I have enjoyed. I enjoyed the Mark Bagley, uh, Brian Michael Bendis story a lot. It was a lot of fun. I actually owned some original art pages, mostly from issues in the 90s. Some of the clone, spider clone story in the Ultimate Universe. So. Those are some fun pages to own. Uh, I love the, love the stories. Love, I love Mark Bagley's artwork in these issues particularly. I think it was better in Ultimate Spider-Man than it was in Spider-Man itself. So, finally own a copy of the first issue there. Now, I picked up a really nice copy of Wolverine number 10. This is from the same seller. And I didn't spend a lot of money on either one of these. So, I was pretty happy. Both of them are pretty good pickups. This one is looks in pretty good condition. I'm going to have to really look at this one sharply to make sure that it's going to be worth a 9.8, hopefully at least a 9.6, but we'll see. And then the seller threw in a free copy of Teen Titans Academy number one. So that was a nice little addition, uh, mostly because I did not, uh, I didn't start on this series, but I picked it up a couple issues into it after they sort of crossed over with the Suicide Squad issues that I've been reading. So I've been finding those real fun. So he ended up throwing in that copy right there. I didn't even didn't even know he was going to do it, but that's a good issue for me to have just for the PC and fun issue to read. All right, from another seller, I got a an X-Men lot, and these are some fun issues right here. And I've got these all in my PC, and... I only ended up bidding on these because they were they ended up not being uh, too expensive as a lot. And judging from the condition, I think I've made a pretty good deal. But we've got X Men 172. One seventy three. One seventy four. One seventy five. And 176. Now, not a lot of these are, these are not really any kind of keys for the most part, although the one issue here with Rogue and Wolverine is a pretty good issue. Especially, and it's a hard issue to get a really top grade on because of that black cover. A lot of, you end up with a lot of spine damage on that that's very noticeable. One of my favorites was always this issue right here. This is the wedding invitation to Wolverine's wedding there. I believe that was Paul Smith artwork back in the day. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think I'm right on that. And two more things I picked up from Whatnot this week. Now this one 
kind of goes back to the PC and it goes back to something I start when I started buying my first graded books I decided well what books do I want to add to my collection I'll be I don't need to have everything graded but what books do I want in my collection and I figured well you go back to some of those old wonderful Silver Age books Spider-Man X-Men Thor whatever uh, Especially you get down into the higher grades that get pretty expensive. So what's the grade that I would like at a minimum to have if I'm going to put some money into these to hold on to? And I think I found really good value at 8.5s on some of these. And so I picked up, this is issue number 56, Spidey Joins Doc Ock. And that's pretty appropriate considering we just have the new Spider-Man movie come out featuring Doc Ock and Spider-Man. So this is a wonderful John Romita cover. I love, love this artwork. It's very dynamic. Dynamic, excuse me. The yellows really pop on here. The reds are really nice. But this 8.5 is just beautiful. The back cover is flat and it's got some age on it, but it has no spots, no tears, no creases and everything. I mean, for an 8.5, this is absolutely gorgeous. So I think I've got some really good value in that. I'm really glad to have this one. This is a PC book all the way. All right, and then the last book I picked up this week, and I spent a little bit more money on this one, but this is another spec book. If you've watched my videos, you know that there's a handful of books that I have been going after for the last couple months pretty hard. I'm a little late to the game on this one, but there's still big value in it, especially considering that you're going to see more about this book pop up in the Doctor Strange movie that's coming up next year with, with uh, the Scarlet Witch. And that goes back to Avengers number 86. Now, everybody knows this is the second of the three issues with the origin of Scarlet Witch and, and the Quicksilver. And this is the first issue that has, uh, I believe this is the first issue with the dark hold in it as well. Anyway, this with this book, I, as I said, I spent a little bit more money on this. The condition looks fantastic. The defects on this are, looks pressable. I think I'm going to get really good on this. I'm I'm really optimistic on this. I don't know if I'll push it up to a 9.8, but I am hoping for 9.4, 9.6 on this book right here. So I'm going to be excited to work on this book. Um, we'll see how it comes out. But I'll leave this right here for you guys. So guys, that is it for this week's comic book haul. I hope you enjoyed these these books. Uh, these some of these are fun. Uh, I'm going to have fun getting these into the press, working on them and everything. And that's about it for today. Guys, if you, as again, if you like the video, please hit the subscribe button. Support the channel. Uh, I'm trying to get up to more and more subscribers to this. Uh, get a wider audience. I love joining this comic book community, even in my small way right here. Uh, looking forward, as I said, growing the channel. So please share with your friends, um, leave a comment about the books. What do you think about the books that I picked up today or this week? Let me know. So guys, I'm checking out now. I will talk to you later in the week. Look forward to, I've got another comic book video probably coming up in the next couple days. I know I have one CGC video coming up. So look forward to those. Hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell so you'll know when I drop a new video, you'll be alerted. All right, guys, take care.